the king and his four wives once there was a king who had four wives he loved all his wives but the fourth wife was the one that he adored the most he always adored her with the finest delicacies he provided her with the best things his third wife was really beautiful and he loved to show her off to neighboring kingdoms his second wife was very kind patient and considerate whenever the king faced some problems with the decision he would go to her and she would help get through that decision the first wife was a very loyal partner and made great contribution in maintaining the king's health and wealth but the king was very ignorant towards her he hardly took notice of her one day the king fell ill and he knew he was going to die soon he wondered now i got four wives with me but when i die i will be alone so he called his fourth wife and asked i loved you most when i die will you follow me to keep me company the fourth wife refused and walked away without any other word the king felt very sad the third wife also refusing saying no i can't life is too good and i am going to remarry after you die the king then asked his second wife the same question and even she refused to the king saying no no i can't help you out this time the king was devastated then a voice came from outside i will come with you no matter where you go the king looked up and saw his wife was looking really dull and suffered the king said with grief i should have taken care of you when i had the chance the truth is we all have those four wives in our lives the fourth wife represents our body whole life we try to make it look good but it will leave us when we die the third wife represents our wealth and status when we die it will go to others the second wife represents our relatives family and friends no matter how much they have been there for us the farthest they can stay by us is up to the grave the first wife represents our soul in pursuit of body wealth and pressure of this world we often ignore it soul is the only thing that will follow us in this world we live for pleasure and sometimes we ignore our soul and spiritual being with all other things what we should focus must is on our inner soul our soul strengthen and cherish it now for it is the only part that will follow and be always with us